a docky beard, cow horns, a Roman nose, a zebra coat on muscular horse legs. This miracle beast seems to be molded from parts of completely different animals. And strangely enough, it's called an antelope. Welcome friends to the channel and today we're going to take a look at a wild animal. Don't forget to rate this video and subscribe to the channel because we're already getting started. The new antelope is an inhabitant of the African savanna. They are not only quite numerous, but also quite interesting if you compare their exterior with the appearance of other savanna dwellers. The exterior of these animals is quite unique, as the head and horns are comparable to the head and horns of a bull, and the mane is horse-like. The body is comparable to that of a cow, the beard resembles that of a mountain goat, and the tail is like that of a donkey. In fact, this animal represents a species of antelope. The new antelope is one of the most famous antelopes living on our planet. The locals of the African continent refer to the new antelope as the wild animal, and the word new is nothing but the sound these animals make. At least, that's what those who named this animal thought. New antelopes are herbivorous ruminants, belonging to the pairs of ungulate mammals in the pronghorn family of fauna. The new antelope has close relatives in the form of the topi and congoni antelope, which differ markedly in appearance. In nature, there are two species of new antelope, which differ in the type of color, blue-striped and white-tailed. The white-tailed new antelope is considered a rare animal and is found only in nature reserves. In the 19th century, new antelopes were hunted by both local tribes and colonizing boars, who fed the meat of these animals to their workers. For 100 years, there was an active hunting of these antelopes and only in 1870 people came to their senses, as there were just over half a thousand of them left alive in Africa. The second wave of boar colonizers made every effort to preserve and increase the number of new antelopes. They began to form safe territories for the livelihood of these animals. As a result, the number of blue antelopes recovered, but the white-tailed species was not so lucky and can be found only in protected areas. The new antelope is an amazing animal in many ways. Firstly, its appearance is quite contradictory and those who have never seen this inhabitant of the African savanna may confuse it with other species of animals, and it is not surprising. New antelope with its appearance resembles many animals, although some of the external signs are contradictory. Secondly, its behavior cannot be called stable, as the animal's behavior can change in the blink of an eye. New antelopes are large animals, weighing up to two and a half hundred kilograms, with a height of almost one and a half meters. The physique is rather sturdy, and the limbs are relatively long and thin, indicating the high endurance of these antelopes. Such a body structure creates the appearance of a disproportionately developed animal. Plus to all, it is the presence of a large bull's head, goat's beard, as well as sharp horns bent to the top creates the impression that nature created this animal from what was at hand or from what was left. It should be noted that the voice of the antelope, which sounds on the expanses of the savanna, can be classified as a kind of mooing. That is why the new antelope was identified in a special subfamily of cow antelopes. Interesting to know, horns grow not only in males but also in females, although they are different as the horns of males are thicker and more massive. The basic coloration of the coat depends on the species, so blue new are characterized by a dark gray or silver blue basic coloration with transverse black stripes along the sides of the body. White-tailed new are characterized by a basic or black or brown color with the tip of the tail pure white, and the mane, black and white. In appearance, these animals resemble horned horses more than antelopes. New antelopes can reach speeds of about 70 kilometers per hour, and their behavior is as unpredictable and unique as their appearance. Observing peacefully grazing new antelopes, it is difficult to assume that in a fraction of a minute this animal can break away from its place and run wherever it wants to go. In this case, do not think that the animal noticed the lurking predator, because everything is much simpler, such as the antelope knew. The mood can also change quickly, then the antelope peacefully nibbling grass next to their brethren, then in a flash becomes an implacable enemy in relation to their kin, attacking them, kicking, kicking, and jumping. This outburst of rage is usually not justified in any way. New antelopes suffer from bouts of unmotivated aggression, which is why zoo staff are especially vigilant to avoid being hurt by an antelope rather than a buffalo, for example. New antelopes prefer to form herds of half a thousand individuals. Their social orientation allows them to survive in conditions where dangerous predators live nearby. Any member of the herd who notices a predator gives a sound signal and then the herd rushes in different directions in a flash. 
When the animals scatter, it disorients the predators, which buys time. In extreme cases, when it is a matter of life and death, the new antelope defends itself using its horns and limbs. If the animal is healthy and strong, even lions do not risk attacking it, choosing weaker individuals or cubs. Each herd has its own territory, which is marked and guarded by the leader of the herd. When strangers appear on its territory, the antelope begins to express its displeasure by making characteristic frightening sounds. If the effect of this did not follow, the new lower their head and point their horns at the enemy. The size of the antelope's horns is such that it can easily defend itself and its territory. The constant migrations of these animals are related to the search for food, as they need young grass that grows during the rainy season or near various water bodies. New antelopes always move in the same direction from south to north and back. The migration season begins in May and continues through the month of November. As a rule, it is the same route, with the same obstacles. In fact, this is their way of life, as only the healthy and strong survive, as well as those who are lucky. Often the animals die under the feet of their relatives, who rush across the savanna in numerous herds and at high speed. If there is enough fresh grass in one place for a herd, the herd will not look for other places for its vital activity. New antelopes like to drink a lot of water, so they prefer to occupy an area near a waterhole. The main thing is that there should be no crocodiles in the water body. Due to these facts, it should be noted that new antelopes will inhabit where there is plenty of water and plenty of fresh succulent grass, as well as conditions for taking cool mud baths. This is one of the traits of the new antelope. If any object interests the antelope, it can approach it at close range, forgetting its fear of danger. Living in the wild, new antelopes do not live more than two decades. This is due to the many dangers that await the animal at every turn. When inhabited in captive conditions, it can live about five years longer. New antelope is an inhabitant of the African continent. To be more precise, it is its south and its east. The main population of new antelopes inhabits the expanses of Kenya, and somewhere a third of the population inhabits such countries as Namibia and others. These animals prefer territories covered with low grass and located near water bodies. Arid areas of the savanna territory are ignored by these animals. These giants are exclusively herbivorous animals whose diet consists of plant food. It should be noted that tall grass is ignored by these herbivores, so they prefer to feed on young succulent grass, the height of which does not exceed 10 centimeters. New antelopes appear in places where zebras use to graze, which on the contrary prefer tall grass, leaving small grass. If there is a lack of young succulent grass, new antelopes can feed on various succulents, as well as leaves of shrubs and trees. This is only if the herd has not yet found their favorite pasture. Beginning in April and for three months, the new antelope has a rut. During this period, males organize fights for the right to own a harem. As a rule, fights are not so bloody and do not come to the death of animals. Their fights are limited to the usual wrestling, which is a simple demonstration of strength. The winner has the right to own a harem of half a dozen females, and the defeated is satisfied with what is left. Interesting point. If we take migratory and non-migratory groups, their composition differs. As a rule, in migratory groups there are individuals of different sexes and different ages. If the herd leads a sedentary way of life, then females with cubs up to one year old form one group, and males form their own groups to get their territories. A female new carries her offspring for eight months, so the offspring are born in January slash February. During this period, the rainy season begins, so food is plentiful. After being born, the cubs are on their feet within half an hour and keep up with their mother. New cubs grow as fast as the grass after the rain. Mostly one calf is born, although there are cases when a couple of calves are born. The mother feeds the calves with her milk for eight months. Despite this, the offspring start to pinch grass from an early age. After the mother stops feeding her milk to the calf, she nurses and cares for her offspring for another nine months. The calf does not become sexually mature until it is four years old.